Welcome to day 32 of my 1,000 mile solo run across Nepal. Uh, today started off fairly average, just a yeah, nice day, kind of plodding along, um, covering the distance. About an hour after I set off, uh, someone uh, called me out and, and said, uh, you know, where are you from? I was welcomed in. Um, they cooked a meal for me, which was only an hour after I had uh, seven bananas, but it was nice and I wanted to uh, show respect. And, uh, and they did another welcome and good luck ceremony for me. And they, um, the man that I met, he's a teacher. He's uh, on the Teachers Association and a social enterprise association over here. So they invited the other members. And as you can see, I've been welcomed. Um, I'm officially Nepali now. Yeah. <laughs> And, and this, this is the, uh, the man, husband and wife that have welcomed me. Uh, totally unplanned, totally impromptu. Um, just to, again, I keep saying really, really friendly. Uh, so many really, really friendly people here. Um, they, I think the reason why they kind of invited um, others and uh, the, because they, they seem to do a lot for their community. And I, um, I was trying to explain what I'm doing and the reasons behind what I'm doing and I found it easier to show them the article that was published about me um, a few days ago on my phone so they read it's all in Nepali uh, they understood and they were kind of they were just saying kind of like well done what you're doing is good that kind of thing it, it, I guess it, it struck a chord with them uh, because it's the kind of thing that they do so they did me a little impromptu ceremony invited their friends it was really nice Bali hat is a little, <laughs> little bit small for me. I just saw it back on the, on the video, uh, but it's certainly the thought that counts. Last clip. Uh, another person stopped, had a quick little chat, and it's interesting, he's, he asked me, uh, where did you get this respect? Which I guess is referring to this, this, all, all. <laughs> it's quite, uh, quite obvious. Um, and it's just quite interesting to me that he called it respect because that, that is what it is. Uh, it, was, it was explained to me by, by the t school teacher that, that organized this. Uh, it's, it's a mark of respect. Uh, it's good luck for the future, good luck for the journey, good luck for your family, and it's a mark of respect. And, um, and the guy who stopped was intrigued. And, and he, he knows the teacher, he knows the person that organized it all. Planning this route, there are a few bits that there were no roads on the map, so I kind of switched to satellite view uh, and I could see something that obviously looks like a road, like this. Uh, and this is one of those occasions where I'm checking my watch, I can see there's no, uh, there's no road on the official map, but um, I've still put a line across here because I was sure there was from the satellite view. And like this is one occasion where I remember being sat at home and drawing a line across this exact point just past the bridge and across to join a road and it's kind of it's kind of quite nice thinking uh, it just connects me to when I was planning this months and months ago uh, from England from from you know not never been to Nepal and um, not knowing what to expect exactly to actually being here almost halfway what a day has turned out to be I'm in a little bit of a rush but I stumbled across this and I could not stop I seem to have found myself in a Hindu
That was a party for the mother of the bride. The bride wasn't there. The bride is at a different house at the moment, but apparently she will join them later on today. Uh, and this was, I guess, for generally the, the older generation. And apparently they just dance and sing all day. They gave me this, which is rutti. It's all made of rice, all different, uh, three different kinds of ways, and it's all dyed red and pink uh, for the celebration. So it's now the next day, but I just thought I'd uh, record a little note about yesterday. Basically, I was really rushing to get to a really nice hotel called Salty Hotel, and um, it was on the map. It was on the Google map, so uh, I, I was kind of surprised. But it looked really good. The photos of the hotel were really, really good. Uh, it was down as hotel category. You know, reviews for like people saying this is the best night's sleep we've ever had. Great hotel, all that kind of stuff. When I turned up there, it was a cafe. It wasn't a hotel at all. It was just had nothing to do with the hotel. Apparently, Salty Hotel is like one of the best hotels. It's a landmark hotel in Kathmandu. And someone's just put up the listing, loads of fake reviews, category, all that kind of stuff, which I know happens. And I actually asked someone um, about 20K before the hotel, um, do you know any nice hotels? And they were kind of thinking, I said, Salty. And they're like, oh, Salty. Salty's amazing hotel. Salty's famous. So I was like, great, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a few more miles, I'm gonna get a really good sleep, might have a rest day, ah, oh, it's gonna be great. I got there, it was just a tiny little cafe. It was, it, and it was getting dark, and that was it. And I was just kind of like, well, okay, what now? Uh, in the middle of the city, can't really camp. Um, and then I just met someone, and, and they said, don't worry, don't worry, stay with me. So it was great, I had this, this is where I slept. I put my tent up here because of insects and stuff like that. Might seem a bit weird, but I had, like one of the best nights sleep last night, the entire trip. Um, they were really friendly, obviously, you know, they cooked for me, it, it was just great. I, um, I know I'm up now early, earlier than I have been. Um, just had slept really, really well, uh, and I'm ready for the day. This is the hotel that I thought I was getting, and this is the place that I actually got.